What's up, guys? Your man Chef from Off the Dome back with another video. And today we're talking about Will and Jada Smith. Actually, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about August Alcina because this is a music channel, political channel, and basically commentary channel. And since I talk about music all the time, I had a video called What Happened to August Alcina, which you should go check out. But now we're going to talk about August Alcina's new album. I haven't listened to it all. It sounds decent to me. I always thought he was a decent singer. I always thought he was a good artist. I think it's sad that he never became as big as he could have been. To a certain sense, which is in fault, of course, because um, eye problems, some other health problems he had. And just due to bad management at Def Jam, after a while, he didn't want to work with him. And his fan base kind of abandoned him, too. I don't get how a guy gets eye problems and gets sick, even though he's still releasing music. And you guys don't support it. But that's all because I've seen the fans that that's on them. That's his fan base. They didn't stick by him and hold him down. We're not going to get into that. What we're getting to is how this Jaden Will Smith thing came out all of a sudden after he dropped his album three weeks ago. This Jaden Will Smith thing been big for about a week and a half. I know in some type of mucked up way that this isn't about Will and Jada. It's more about August Alcina trying to get Jada to do a favor for him, trying to boost his album sales. Well, unfortunately, it did not work. August Alcina album debuted at number 48, which means he roughly sold about four to 6,000 copies first week. Now, his last album did number 14. His first debut album did number two, which did 69,000 copies first week. And that was pure sales back then without the streaming. So, usually we see publicity works in all types of ways. But I think the reason why the publicity didn't work for August Alcina is because you're dealing with two stars that are way bigger than you. All I've seen is the guy who did Jada Pinkett, and yes, Jada Pinkett has been with many celebrities in the past, but all I've seen is the scene that's the main story, in my opinion, because Will Smith is a megastar, Jada Pinkett is to less than an A-lister. Will Smith, no doubt, Bad Boys 2, The Genie from Aladdin, Focus, which is one of his least selling movies, but still did decent, all the men in black franchises, Independence Day, Etc. 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 Fresh Prince of Air, a successful rap career, I don't care what anybody says, the guy... Move units. His debut album is eight times platinum, almost diamond. Will Smith is a megastar. So we have a megastar dealing for a list celebrity like Jada Pinkett Smith, who she's also named. Yes, she had a show. I think Hawthorne or whatever it was. She was in some good moves. The girls trip recently, whatnot. You have two people that have way more clout, way more to lose than August Alcina. August Alcina, I hate to say it, to burst your bubble, but. Your guy that made I Love This Shit with Trinidad James. Your guy was featured on three DJ Khaled songs. Then yeah, that No Love song with Nicki Minaj. That's basically your career in a wrap-up. You were the sexiest R&B black man alive at one point. I know all the girls wanted all got Cena. They wanted him. They wanted guys like him. They liked the sound. And he was the flavor of the month back in 2014. So, I'm not going to lie and say August Alcina didn't have his heyday. But now we look at 2020. August Alcina... When you hear that name, you're like, I never know, I know that name, but where from? That's why this whole list stunt didn't work for August Alcina. So, and plus he's an independent artist now, so it's, of course he's not with Def Jam or whatnot. So, in a partial way, it's good that he has just 6,000 album sales or streams or whatever that is because most of it's going towards him and the distribution group. The bad thing is, usually when you're independent, you want to do like young MA numbers. She did 22,000. People see it as a flop. I see that. That's a decent win because 22,000 that you don't have to share with a big label. That's good. When you only have five to 6,000, it's still money going to you, but it's less of a pie. You got to remember a lot of this is just screaming. A lot of it's not actual album sales that he got. So let me know in the comment section do you think that this was a setup from August? I've seen the tone jaded to kind of push this to the forefront of the public. Do you think this is all between all three of them trying to get paid and trying to get more eyes on them? I don't see why Will would want this. He looks like he honestly don't want this. Will doesn't need this. He just had a best-selling movie come out literally five to six months ago, Bad Boys for Life, before the pandemic. Technically speaking, I think it's the best-selling movie of the year. Granted, that's with the asterisks next to it, but even if the movie theaters open up all year, I think Bad Boys for Life would have still been like number five in the best-selling movies of um, the year. I think Disney, I think Disney had a couple big releases this year, so we got beaten by a couple of Disney films. But Will Smith was definitely gonna be in the top ten in that box office draw. And Jada Pinkett, her table talks and whatnot, they still get decent views. I think she has a podcast with her family. They um get decent downloads, so it's not like she's anything to sneeze at. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your man Chef Buff Dome. I'm signing out, peace.